the I can charge ten thousand dollars for it if I wanted to because it's free. I this I do this work for free. I don't get any money for it. All right. So you don't make any money at this. You're the Messiah. You're going to save the world. You control time, mm-hmm. and you're a baker. Absolutely. I'm a lot of things. I'm more than just a baker. <laughs> Can do a lot of things. Tell but, me, uh, tell me, what was your religious upbringing? I grew up in in church. Mm-hmm. I grew up in Baptist church. Yeah, um, with choirs and a preacher that's always, you know, in the sky. But yeah, I grew up in the Baptist church. So, um, why did you decide? not to become a member of the church when you were young and pursue this professionally with a doctorate or a or an actual degree in theology and become an actually ordained minister? Because you guys don't know what you're doing, okay? Mm-hmm. Wait, wait, um, wait a sec, hold on here. When you say you guys, are you talking about the entire population of this planet? Every, sir... Everyone is hopelessly mm-hmm. lost. Over 96% of the human population, God considers a hopelessly lost citizen. Really? And, and, really. and, and God told you this, right? It's a fact. You see, I deal mm-hmm. with facts only. I'm sorry, I can't. You, you deal with facts. Yes, sir. It is a fact. Where did you get this fact? <laughs> Okay, let me give you let me give you an example Please. so that you can start to I'm going to show you something because it's visible so that you can kind of get comprehend where mm-hmm. where God's numbers come from because God's numbers are extremely vast. I'm going to get ready to show you a math formula. It's a very simple fraction, okay? Mm-hmm. This is Satan's formula. Monetary gain over time. So obviously God's formula would be time over monetary gain. Now, let me explain something to you. Human instinct tells the average God-connected citizen Mm -hmm. that time is more valuable than anything. Time is more valuable than air. However, satanic programming says money is everything. And when money means more than time, your end result is chaos, you see? Time is our only friend. Time is God and God is time. And the reason why we die and we suffer from uh, rapid death Mm -hmm. is because we choose Satan's, we voluntarily choose Satan's formula over God's formula consistently every time. And we don't even know it. Another one of Satan's formulas. Okay, I'm just going to show you this. And this is the path to God's future strictly by number. Satan's formula, few over many. Obviously, God's formula is many over few. And let me tell you, God has quite a few formula. And the reason why I'm only giving you a little bit at a a time is because God's information is vast, is infinite. When I say that I'm the Messiah, mm-hmm. I am willing to take any challenge because let's say, okay, for example, I don't know how much money you make. Let's say you make $500 million a year. You're you know, close. Let's say you're you're, you're close. like Steve Jobs, okay? You're you just close. make so close. much money. You're close. Okay. <laughs> no matter how much money you make, mm-hmm. if you put in money over time, meaning you can cut a tree for money, meaning you can blow up a mountain just to put a face on it, meaning you can blow up a waterfall just to make it smooth for money. You can kill precious animals and plants and ocean life. You can drive a vehicle that burns fossil fuel that t- puts tons of toxin in your atmosphere and mine. Because, see, we do all of these things for money. None of these things bring us time. The only thing that brings us more time is clean air, wholesome food, fresh water, love, God, cultivation. Everything else that we see and that we participate in is an illusion. 
our daily task is to have, to work for more time. Time is God's blessing to us. And when we turn our back on him and we put other things over his formula without even knowing it, because this is how we're trained. We think we know God. I guarantee you, you don't. Then you start aging and you start suffering and you, and you pass these illnesses onto your children, your offspring. And the cycle is vicious and it repeats. But God is promises everlasting life. If we would just control our human behavior and if we would just recognize that time means more than money. Money, if money means everything to you, you'll never be able to see the benefit of time and the grace that God gives. And unfortunately, you know, unfortunately, our social condition demands that we put time, we put monetary gain before everything else, unfortunately. And there's another way. We, matter of fact, the, the reality that you see right now due to our most, we dwell mostly under satanic programming, our reality is a fraction of what it could be. And I'm here to tell you, we don't have to have money. We can live, we can live under five-star accommodation without a cent. We wouldn't have to worry about a deficit. We wouldn't have to worry about war if we would just follow a few rules that God put into place that's in the Bible, but you don't know the code. Well, wait a so sec. Hold on here. It. How do you know that the code that you're talking about is a, you know, that, that you're right? Like, you know, I, I'm sorry I, not, to be, not to be a total skeptic, but... Be one. That's great. <laughs> I, I don't believe you at all. I think that you have some hidden agenda. I think that you're blowing your own horn for some unknown reason. I think that you're bordering on the, on the edge of, of uh, delusions of grandeur. Mm -hmm. and I don't blame I, you. And, and you know what? I, 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 don't, I don't understand why you are doing what you're doing. Okay, <clears throat> let me just ex let me just explain this. Okay. The reason why I know I am the Messiah is because God's program is based on number and God is the author of number and no one can defeat my numbers. Mm -hmm. They're not my numbers. They're God's numbers. OK, and he gave his program to me. And unfortunately, that makes me a wee bit of a a-hole. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know, I've been told I have a Messiah complex. But I talk to God every day. I know what's going to happen. I have hundreds of predictions. I don't know what to tell you guys. All the thing I can say to you, Mr. McConnell, is if you'd like to take me up on this challenge, I could use some money. I'll tell you and what. we could have a challenge. I'll tell you what. Could, I'll tell what? you what. I'll get some of the top biblical experts in this country to take you on on an on-air debate. Let's do it. You've got a deal. And we would have to, let's make sure that we have a, um, a pot. No, 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 no. You see, it's going to be, no, 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 because, and I'm going to tell you, I'm for nothing now. Well, so wait a minute, wait a sec, Messiah. So you're in it for the money. I am not in it for the money. Well, why do you want the money? Why do you want a pot? Hold on a second. I've been working for almost two years now, overtime for God, for absolutely nothing. Well, then I God should you. then God should pay you. Why should anybody however, who's going to challenge however, you on your authenticity and your credentials? The challenge has monetary gain attached to it. How do you figure because that? You're going to have to. You're, what is? What do you lose if I win? What do you lose because I'm going to Abs win? Absolutely, so what do you lose? absolutely nothing. Okay, then. So that's not how that's going to go. When you find someone willing to put up their dollars and cents, <laughs> I will be willing to put up my dollars and cents, and we will have this challenge publicly, right, on, right online. Well, you know what? If you were the Messiah, and if you were benevolent, and if you were able to put your power where your mouth is, I don't think any money would be an issue here. My power goes where my mouth is every day, and all you have to do is sit back and watch the fireworks, because obviously it's not over. And you can actually keep up with what well, I can keep you in the loop 
of what's going on with the U.S. government and myself and exactly how we are going to get to God's future. It's either and, that or you're going to end and, up in jail, one of the I'm two. Sorry? I said it's either that or you're going to end up in jail, one of the two. If I were going to end, I've been doing this for over two years, mm -hmm. almost two years. If I were going to end up in jail, I would have been there by now. Not necessarily. You know why not I'm not in jail? Uh, you know, let me one, see, because you're the Messiah. Because you're the Messiah. Thank you. And you could and easily. All you have to do is sit back and watch. You see, because you can be a skeptic all you want. That's mm -hmm. your job. Your job is to be a skeptic, but. No, no, while you're no, being no, a skeptic, no. You see, my job, my job is to get the truth out to the public, to the masses. Mm -hmm. Now, that's what my job is. You okay. See? And I've been He's doing, and, I, and I've been doing this for 23 years mm -hmm. as a broadcaster. I'm a former police investigator. Right. With still heavy ties to law enforcement in Canada and the U.S. Okay, great. So I don't, I don't have to prove anything uh, to anybody. All I have to do is sit back and watch. No, no, no. Sit back see, and expose. It, let me explain something to you. You can continue to do these shows and mm -hmm. live exactly the way you live, mm -hmm. and no significant social change will come about. Me, on the other hand, I have the power to bring about positive social change. So there's the difference between you and I. The only thing is, the reason why you feel the way you do is because you don't know what I know. And I can't sit here in, in an hour and yeah. tell you everything. Stand by. We've got, to, we've got to take our final break. We'll be back on the other side of this commercial. The Messiah, Exxon Nation. I don't believe it. We'll be back on the other side of this commercial break as we continue from our broadcast center in Hamilton, Ontario, Canada. You know, this is something about with the Internet. Anybody can say anything they want to say. It gives them a platform. But you know what? Platforms are good. They're high, and people fall off more times than enough. We'll be back. Don't go away. With each new extreme weather event or terrorist act, it becomes increasingly obvious that we live in uncertain and challenging times. We all buy car insurance. Why not collapse and catastrophe insurance? Matthew Stein, an MIT-trained engineer and green builder, has written two outstanding books to help people prepare, plan for, and deal with everything from minor situations lasting a few days to full-on collapse. Matt's first book, When Technology Fails, is a manual for self-reliance, sustainable living, and surviving the long emergency. This massive book covers the gamut from first aid and emergency preparedness to alternative healing, renewable energy, primitive living skills, and 18th century technologies that could be critical to your comfort and survival in a long-lasting crisis. Matt's second book, When Disaster Strikes, is a comprehensive emergency preparedness handbook and survival guide. When Disaster Strikes is an essential item for every family's go bag. Both books are available at all usual sources. There's a wealth of totally free information posted at whentechfails.com and author signed copies may be purchased at mattstein.com. That's www.whentechfails.com and www.mattstein.com. Rob McConnell here, presenting an overview for Nicholas Paul Jinnix, author of a fascinating book, Amen. It presents facts revealed by Egyptologists, facts that enable us to understand why Amen is the beginning of creation of God. It provides recommendations for religious leaders of the major religions to unify their beliefs and teach the word of God, love one another. Amen informs people how mankind conceived God, it was the Egyptians that developed the concepts of a soul, a hereafter, and son of God. And finally, after the worship of many gods, they conceived the belief in one universal God, the maker of all there is. For more information, visit www.futureofgodamen.com. That's www.futureofgodamen.com.
Welcome back, everyone. This is the X Zone. My name is Rob McConnell. Uh, our guest this hour claims to be the Messiah. <laughs> 